Hey everyone, how's it going? This is the Ball of Metal Nerd coming at you with another vid. You know what this one's going to be? Um, obviously, I'm going to be talking about my Switch to Mint Mobile. Now, uh, before I get started, I want to make it very clear. I was not paid for this. This is a honest uh, review of my Switch to Mint Mobile. Um, this is not sponsored, no payment, I was not given free service, I had to use my own money, yada, 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 just so you get that out there. I'm not a shill for Mint Mobile. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my history of mobile phone plans and why I decided to switch over to uh, Mint Mobile. Um, you know... I've been a smartphone user since 2012, right? And I've always been on prepaid ever, you know, ever since I got a smartphone. And most recently, I was uh, before I switched over, I was with AT&T, uh, you know, prepaid cell phone service, and it was forty dollars a month. I want to, yeah, it was forty dollars a month, and I got eight gigabytes of data for forty dollars a month. Uh, with AT&T, right? Which is decent. Okay, it's not stout, not absolutely great, but when I first switched to AT&T, that was a great deal, right? So, um, I had that for a while, and um, then the whole COVID thing happened, and AT&T offered a, uh, basically a promotional thing where uh, they offered... Uh, like two or three gigs a month for like $15 a month. And I was like, hey, you know, that would be great because I'd be paying a lot less money. I'm staying home. I'm not using a lot of data these days. So that'd be fabulous. So I uh, switched over to that for a while, right? And then AT&T being AT&T, <laughs> you know, uh, decided that, you know, they were only going to offer that for a limited amount of time, right? So then they upped my bill back up to 30 bucks a month, still at two gigs of data. And I'm just like, well, that's no good. So um, I decided to investigate uh, low cost mobile carriers. And the one that I found that seemed to have the best reputation was Mint Mobile, right? So I did some digging. And I saw lots and lots of really good things about them, lots of great stories. Um, now, there are other really low-cost mobile carriers, but um, there are a lot of things I read that kind of scared me a little bit, right? So, it's like, well, I want to just try Mint Mobile. And luckily, Mint Mobile offers um, a SIM, basically a test kit. It's five bucks. They'll send you a SIM card gives you a week of service and you can just test out the service and see how well it works for you. Now I was a little skeptical at first because Mint Mobile uses T-Mobile's network and where I live until maybe a, as recently as two years ago T-Mobile here really did not work at all, right? So I was like, well, what I gotta lose? Five bucks? Not a big deal, right? And to my surprise um, it worked absolutely great. The coverage here was really good. Uh, you know, no complaints, right? So that surprised the hell out of me. I was I was shocked. Uh, the voice coverage was basically equal to AT and T, and the data speed was just about the same. Uh, so I was really, really, really surprised. So I was like, "Yep, it's definitely worth switching." So. Um, after I verified everything was great, I then went ahead and I ordered, again, I'll show this, this SIM card, and I got, um, what I decided to go with was their least expensive plan, because the way their pricing works is you get your initial three-month plan, right? Um, you get, for $15 a month or $45, you get uh, three months of service, which includes, uh, you know, three gigabytes of data, right? Uh, for $20 a month or $60, you get um, 8 gigabytes of data. Or for $25, you know, 25 a month or $75, you get 12 gigabytes of data, right? So obviously, I was like, well, 
I could probably get by with the lowest amount of data since I'm not using much data these days. And uh, so today I was like, all right, great. I, I got the SIM card. I was like, well, let's go ahead and activate this thing and port my number over from AT&T because I, I knew I wanted to do that. I had used my AT&T data up for the month. I was like, well, let's just do it now because I only got about a week left on my AT&T service anyway. And I wanted that flexibility just in case something went wrong. Well, I am very pleased to say that when I ported my number over today, nothing went wrong. Uh, the whole process took less than maybe three minutes, right? Um, I went to Mint Mobile's activation site. I put in the required information, uh, which in this case was my phone number, my account number with AT&T, which I got from them, and my PIN number with AT&T. Put that in, and that was basically it. And as soon as I took the AT&T SIM card out and put the Mint Mobile SIM card into my phone, it was already working. Uh, my, num my number had ported over to Mint and everything was, I was able to make it receive phone calls. My mobile data was working. It was an incredibly <clears throat> easy and simple process. I couldn't have been more pleased with how simplistic it was. Uh, now, there is one catch to Mint Mobile, right? And that is the fact to get the lowest cost after your three months are over, your first three months, you essentially have to pay 12 months in advance, okay? So um, the lowest amount that they sell plans for are three months in advance. But uh, if you only do three months, you're paying uh, significantly more. You're paying 25 a month for the three gig plan. Um, Whereas you can only pay, you, you can get it down to 15 if you buy one year in advance. So that's going to be up to you whether that's something you're comfortable doing or not. Uh, but I think if I use this service for three months, um, I probably won't have any problem committing to a year because I don't think anyone's going to offer a better deal. So uh, that's basically it. Um, if you like this, let me know. I know this is a little bit out of my normal purview. Also, if you want to learn more about Mint Mobile, uh, please do check out the link in the description below. Uh, now, it is my um, referral link. And no, I'm not special. Anybody with a Mint Mobile account can get a referral link, just so you know. Um, but yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you use that. If you do decide to get Mint Mobile, that would help me out tremendously. So uh, that's basically it. I hope you guys like this. I hope it helps you save a few bucks. So uh, that's it. As always, live long and prosper. Keep on rocking.